Welcome to day two. It's a beauty. I'm gonna be uh, a little underexposed here, but it's just incredible. Not too much wind, nice and sunny. We're both feeling pretty good. Um, I'm gonna eat a little snack or something for breakfast and then we're gonna go see Johnson Falls today. Um, we're just one portage away. We're just we're on Canoe Lake, which uh, you just got to paddle to the portage up to Pine. But along that portage is uh, a break off to Johnson Falls. So we're gonna head over there. It's about 9:18, so we're gonna head over there probably uh, around 10. And um, looking forward to a little hike, a little paddle, some scenery, some scenery, some scenic views. I'll obviously be bringing the big camera, so. Uh, can't wait to shoot some of that. And we're off to Johnson Falls. I know I've said it already a couple times, but wow, it's a beautiful day. There are uh, some thicker patches of clouds that came through in the morning still a decent amount of sun but now it's really clearing up and there's this like vertebrae looking cloud up in the sky there that's crazy but yeah it's just a stunner of a day hardly a cloud There's like a family of white birds some way over there. Beauty. All right, we're at the Portage to Pine, looking to go see Johnson Falls. Got our day packs, camera bag, ursac for some lunch, and uh, yeah, this is about a 250 rod portage or something, and the uh, the spur for Johnson Falls is um, about two thirds or three quarters of the way there, I think, maybe even the whole way, I'm not sure. But uh, we got decent hike ahead of us here, 15, 20 minutes, and uh, yeah, we'll check in with you at the falls. Look at all the baby tweez. Well, I've, we've just arrived at a lake, presumably Pine Lake. So you do have to walk the entire portage from Canoe Lake to get here. It doesn't break off in the middle. But as a plus, I get to see Pine Lake. Oh, there's some people over there. Yep, that's a big lake. I'm sure the waves on the other side are building up by now. Press on to the Johnson Falls Spur.
Well, this uh, spur over to Johnson Falls from the pine side is a lot longer than expected. I thought it was gonna be somewhere along the portage to canoe. We would branch off and hike another 50, 100 rods. But this is like, I don't know, this has to be at least like 150, 200 rods of its own from the pine side just to get over here. And uh, we're going up. Finally, you walk along a creek for a little while and there's a fork just a little bit after you uh, start on the trail from Pine and uh, one and the right side of the fork and this is coming from canoe the right side of the fork presumably leads to another lake the left side of the fork continues on to Johnson Falls I had to make sure I didn't fall down that because uh, we're here. At least at Lower Johnson Falls. So we'll check out Lower and then I think we're gonna see if we can get to Upper Johnson Falls as well. Yeah. Yeah. Johnson Falls. All right, we're done here at Lower Johnson Falls. I thought there were, it looked like there was a trail that goes further up, so we're gonna see uh, how, if, you know, like five more minutes, see if that goes up to Upper Johnson Falls. Um, I've heard that it's, it's nice and a lot of people skip it, so we're gonna try and check it out. All right, we made it to Upper Johnson Falls. Pretty scenic, honestly. 
almost more scenic than the lower. Um, so just giant boulders leading down. Um, I'm gonna go over there to try and get a photo and a few video clips. So time to do some scrambling. Okay, I was wrong. There was a little more up after those planks. But we're, we're basically at the summit again. You can see the sky through the trees here. Successful day trip. <laughs> yeah. All right, back on the water. We left like 10 something today. We started hiking over at 11.18 and it's now 3.18, so four hours round trip. We took our time on the way back and just enjoyed the, enjoyed the woods. Limited the heart rate, limited the sweating a little bit. Clouded over, big, big clouds moving in now, but uh, we got the day trip done during the nicest part of the day. Now we're just gonna see if we can find a, a log on the way back from, the way back from the trip. Cut that up, bring it back with us, and. Even if we don't, we got plenty of firewood for tonight. We'll just have to get some tomorrow after our day trip. So. Awesome day. Another awesome day.
All right, we got some wood. Got a cedar there. It's a little rotten over here, but it's okay on the other side. And then some, uh, I don't, I can't quite tell what it is, but it's like kind of petrified like driftwood. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but clean cut was uh, pretty clean. Looks good. So I want to start paddling so Holly doesn't have to keep switching sides, but uh, yeah, four, four o'clock, do your part. I just cut that wood. I am doing my part. <laughs> Well, we're settling in at camp here. Still got the big camera charging, but we got the wood all stacked up and got the fire going. And Holly keeping it keeping it busy. Another beautiful night. It's uh, cleared up, cleared up quite a bit. And uh, just gorgeous blue skies. Hopefully we'll have an awesome, gorgeous sunset like last night. With just the, the pastel hues, it's crazy, beautiful. But uh, the wind has calmed down a little bit as well, which is nice. Um, again, just a beautiful day. Johnson Falls was incredible, upper and lower, although I personally liked upper Johnson Falls more. Um, yeah, we're having a pad thai tonight, pad thai with chicken from Backpacker's Pantry. And uh, we've had that one before a couple times, and it's awesome. They give you like a powdered sriracha packet and some peanut butter, actual peanut butter in a packet that you squeeze in and mix in. And then like some uh, powdered like lime, like hint of lime or whatever that you can throw in there and you can kind of add it to taste. But it's real, it's real tasty. Oh, and peanuts, uh, half peanut halves. So you just toss those in and yeah, it's a real, real nice treat. So uh, we, we like that one a lot. Looking forward to that. It's uh, just before 6, 5.55. So... I'm going to get the chores done pretty quickly after this. Probably have everything uh, sealed up by 6.30. Uh, another early night to have everything done. We'll just sit by the fire again and enjoy our time in the Boundary Waters. It's been a great day. All right, well, I'm gonna close it out for tonight. Enjoyed our uh, pad thai from Backpacker's Pantry. It was probably the best we've ever made it. Just incredible, perfect amount of water. Actually added a little bit extra at the end there. I'll give it one more good stir. But we're sitting by the fire now and uh, gonna settle in for the night, get the food hung up, get the bags shut and uh, just relax. We have another beautiful night, super calm, um, a couple clouds in the sky just adding to the color and it's just gorgeous. So <sighs> come sit by the fire with us for, our, for a little bit and uh, enjoy this because we will. <laughs>